So with that in the backdrop, let's welcome in World Golf Hall of Famer, 21-time PGA Tour winner and 77 PGA champ Lanny Watkins. Lanny, thanks for setting aside some time to chat with us out in Newport Beach, California. We just heard Charlie Hoffman say bifurcation would be a travesty to this game. Would love to get your thoughts on the proposed model local rule from the USGA and RNA. Oh, well, George, I've always been in favor of bifurcation, and that goes back to the days when we were forced to go to the square grooves back in the 70s and 80s. And I think of the golf ball going so far, there are so many things that have affected it. Number one, in my mind, was always the tour losing the lawsuit to Carson Solheim and Ping that we had to go to square grooves. Uh, had you maintained the original V grooves we had way back when, uh, they couldn't have developed the ball to the extent it's, it's at right now. You couldn't control it. So, I mean, number one, we've always had as players to adjust. And by the way, the players back then voted over 80 percent did not want square grooves. So that kind of thing has been going on for a long time. The other thing nobody ever mentions is the weight of golf shafts. You know, I look at, the, at their testing thing at 127 miles an hour. Nobody could have swung 127 miles an hour with the shafts we played that weighed 125 to 130 grams. I'm playing a 50 gram driver shaft right now. So, I mean, that, things have evolved and changed, but there's so many things that go into this. Uh, I think, you know, as Jack Nicklaus has, you know, has said repeatedly, I think the golf ball is a place you've got to start. Uh, now, if you want to, that's why I think bifurcation works. I think they can do several things that would roll the distance back on tour and essentially keep some of the great golf courses we have in this country, you know, the Firestones, the Rivieras, uh, even Augusta National, keep things in play, that's the way you compare generations is by the golf courses. And if you're not playing similar distances and such, then it's going to be hard to compare those. Lanny, does that then make a case that this model local rule, in your mind, doesn't go far enough? If, if the aim is to suspend hitting distance somewhere around 317 yards at that 127 mile per hour, club head speed, is that still too much? It's not really a rollback. It feels more like pushing a pause button than a rollback. It really does to me. I mean, yes, I would, I've always said, and George has been around me enough when we work together, that I've, I've advocated for you know heavier shafts on, on the PGA Tour. Maybe the lightest shaft any tour player can play is 115 to 120 grams in anything. Uh, you know, start there. Size of the club head on the driver, smaller, you know, CC, you know, model club head. Uh, you know, there are so many things that you could do to take it back. Uh, I'm not saying that we have to go back to the 70s and early 80s and such, but it would be nice to, to see, you know, back where we could at least compare some. And I, I think it's just gotten dangerously long where it's just pound the ball as far as you can and hit a, a wedge that spins out of high rough and play golf. And that's, that's not showing the true talent some of these guys really have. I think the be better players, if they went to bifurcation and made it play tougher, the better players would separate themselves more. The Justin Thomases, the Jordan Spieths, uh, you know, the Patrick Canleys, uh, you know, some of these guys would really separate themselves from the other players, uh, much like we had back in the 70s and 80s, if you look at it. Do you think the skills, Lanny, are tested less in the modern game because of, of equipment? It's not that the players are less skilled, they're just asked to demonstrate those skills less often? I don't think there's any question, Eamon. I, I, we had to, the first thing you had to do with the soft, spinny ball we played was learn to control the trajectory. Every single shot, you know, you had to look at how where you wanted to flight it to accommodate the wind, uh, the firmness of the green, everything else, the whole locations. Uh, it, it was all involved in the talented players could hit it any place you wanted with accuracy and curve it both ways. And uh, even on Champs Tour, I, I see very few players that move it both ways. As much as Steve Stricker has won, you give him a right hole location, he's going to hit a draw 30 feet left of the flag and, and go to his putter. I watch Ernie Ellis play, on the other hand. He's hitting little undercut fades into right hole locations, draws into left hole locations. I love watching somebody that can really work and maneuver the golf ball and control his trajectory. Lanny, completely get 
the argument of trying to compare eras, and that's kind of the beauty in baseball is that you can go back historically, compare eras there. But if you look at NFL or NBA, it's really hard to go back 20, 30, 40, 50 years because it's a totally different style of play. So to play contrarian here with the PGA Tour, the game of golf, they're coming off record revenue since COVID. If you talk to the average fan, they want to see guys hit it as far as they can on the PGA Tour. Those, those are the, the jaw-dropping type moments. So to then have this type of rollback or, or pause for a lot of people, it's why mess with the good thing when golf's riding this high post-COVID? Well, George, it's not much of a rollback if you think about it. 127 miles an hour club head speed and, what, 317 yards carry? Uh, that's not much of a rollback. Uh, that's uh, looking at somebody still hitting it further than I've ever dreamed of. So uh, would I like to have been able to hit it that long? Yes. But uh, as, as it is, you go play with what you've got. And uh, I think that's that's the beauty of this game. Everybody, no matter the skill level, can play uh, whatever equipment you have. You just do the best you can with it. Danny, we just heard Charlie Hoffman <coughs> suggest that things will be better if PGA Tour players were making the decision, and this might be, to he, as he put it, the demise of the governing bodies. Would things be better if PGA Tour players were making the decision? Obviously, things would be better if you were the commissioner, Lanny, but should they be making the decisions more often for the elite game, and do you think the Tour will actually adopt this local rule? Eamon, I wish we could have made our own decisions back in the late 70s and 80s when square goose came around. We may not be looking at some of this stuff right now. That's why I'm in favour of bifurcation. If you don't do something now, where is it going to eventually end? That's what worries me. And I think at some point in time, you know, as players, you need to take control of it one way or the other and, uh, and implement this stuff. And I'm not saying we should make the rules, but <coughs> excuse me. Um, but I, I, I think we, we can do what's good for the game and also keep it very, very interesting for the fans. Lanny, I know you've been playing some golf recently. If you could, for the viewers, where you're hitting it now compared to 30, 40 years ago, and then would you say that the sole thing to target or the sole difference would be the golf ball? I don't think there's any question. I mean, granted, I'm playing lighter shaft irons than I ever played, George. I'm down to 100-gram shaft irons. Uh, you know, my lofts are stronger, probably almost a full club or more than they were when I came on tour and when I played uh, the ball goes, I mean, I was just at Augusta National last weekend. I hit the same clubs at 6 and 12 that I've always hit. Uh, and those are two of the holes that really play from kind of the same areas. Uh, I drove in a lot of places. I used to drive it back when I was playing. So I'm 73 years old. I, I'm, I'm not going to hit it, you know, that far. But uh, I still get around and enjoy it. So that's kind of where it is. And I, I, the one that it blew me away was watching Riviera this year. Um, I still have the tournament record there from 85, but watching the clubs that they were hitting at Riviera from essentially the same tees that I played from, uh, I look at holes like two and three right off the bat. I, last round, perfect weather, I hit like two iron to two and uh, I think five or six iron to three, and I think they, they're hitting like eight irons to two, and they had like 115 yards to three. I mean, that hole was a wonderful par four, but when it's a, you got driver – you know, and gap wedge, it's just not the same. And, you know, you go around the course the whole way. It, it's, it's amazing to see. Danny, you mentioned being at Augusta National. You came very close there several times to getting yourself a seat at that Champions Dinner next month. But a lot of your friends are going to be there. Do you sense that there's any tension or anticipation on their part for sharing that dinner table with any of the live guys next month? The ones I've talked to know, Eamon. I, I think they, you know, I think they'll just you know, be above that, if you will. That's n probably not the time and the place to have a discussion like that. Um, I, I don't anticipate any animosity at the dinner itself. There may be other things said during the week, but uh, uh, that's a special place and an amazingly special dinner. Uh, I don't see them sullying that in any way with, with that kind of conversation. Well, speaking of the changes in the game these days between live and distance, obviously the PGA Tour schedule is changing a lot. When you look at these designated events now, do you see that as something you're in favor of or you just wish they were around in your prime? Well, we had some designated events back then, but it wasn't to this extent and the money wasn't that they, we were trying to help uh, the tour and get all the players playing together. They're doing it through money, if you will, which 
uh, you know, I, I wouldn't have minded making a little bit more money would have been nice, but, uh, I can see this being a healthy thing for the tour. I, I, I think that, uh, you know, even it's, it's like out here on champs tour, you know, there's some great stories, but essentially we need hall of famers and major winners to win. That's what the champs tour is all about. Uh, it's also that way on the PGA tour. I want to see, I like watching the great players go head to head, uh, the, the players of today, uh, so to me, that's more fun. I'm, I was delighted to see Scotty Scheffler take down the players last week and, you know, provide us with another really top-notch name champion, a guy who really knows how to win, and that's what he's proving. Atlanta, you've lived in the Dallas area for years, so obviously you're familiar with the name Scheffler growing up as a junior and now the world number one. How much staying power do you think he's going to have in the top spot? I just love the way Scotty plays. I, I think he's got a lot of staying power. I, I think I, I, if you want to compare him to Jordan Speed, for example, uh, same kind of short games, if you will. They're both amazing chippers, pitchers, bunker players, really good putters. Uh, Scotty is longer off the tee and looks like he has more control off the tee. I, I think the control he has with the driver when he's on is amazing. He hit driver on some holes the last round last week. I didn't think he would hit driver. I, he hit it into some really small necks. And a guy that's got the confidence to do that with his driver, uh, he's going to stay around for quite a while. I Lanny. like the fact that he owns his swing, too. I, that's, I think that's key. Uh, he's not out there thinking golf swing. He's playing golf. Yeah, he swings his swing for sure. Lanny, uh, enjoyed it, and very kind of you to cover up that beautiful view behind you of the harbor in Newport Beach. We really appreciate uh, it. The big yachts are sitting right behind me, George. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't have the keys to any. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be watching you this week at the Hogue Classic.